Hey, good morning, church family. Uh, this is uh, Pastor Bill for Sunday, 11:28 Youth Talk. Um, wanted to take a minute to talk about a scripture that we're um, going to talk about on uh, at service as well. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you a little bit of about my experience with uh, what we're talking about today. Um, when I was growing up, I remember I liked this uh, this one country singer really, you know, really well. Um, thought he was awesome. Thought he was um, a great role model. Thought about he, you know, um, he seemed like an awesome guy. Um, Listened to all his music, bought all his CDs. Those are the round things. If <laughs> for uh, for you younger folks out there that might be watching, but um, and I remember my mom saying, "You need to be careful about who you look up to because the thing is, they're human, and no matter how hard they could try to be the best person they could." being human they're going to fail eventually um, it might not be anything major it might not be anything bad but it might being human you have the um, you have the uh, you're able to fail because you're not perfect if if that makes sense you the only person that we know that is perfect is Christ so as we go through our lives and we we think about what we look up to, that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, the scripture for today is First Thessalonians uh, nine through thirteen, I believe, and I'm reading from from the message. Um, it starts off like this: What would be an adequate adequate Thanksgiving to offer God for all the joy we experience before him because of you. We do what we can praying away the, the night and the day, asking for the bonus of seeing your faces again and doing what we can what we can to help when your faith falters. May God our Father himself and our Master Jesus clear the road to you. And may the master pour out his love so it fills your, your lives and splashes over on everyone around you, just as it does from us to you. May you be infused with strength and purity, filled with confidence and in the presence of God our Father when our master Jesus arrives with his followers. So we, we hear about how our hope is in Christ and our hope is is his com coming back <coughs> excuse me um, so we have to take care of our hearts and the fire that is in our hearts so my point being today is where is our hope at is our hope at is our hope in what college we get accepted to? Is our hope what sport we might get to play in college? Is our hope what person we can date? Is our hope a political party? Is our hope the job that we have? So we have a tendency to put in all kinds of hope to other things but when it comes to God we kind of keep him off to the side and we bring him in when we need him but our hope should be in Christ our hope should be that we know our, he is our hope to give us peace he is our hope to walk through to walk through um, a rough life so we need to just throughout the 
the Advent season, just think about where your hope is and where it should be and try to correct that by prayer, coming in church, um, whatever you could do to get closer to God, to get that hope back that you need to keep your heart on fire. So I hope that you have a good week. I hope that your heart is on fire for God. And if it's not, I hope that you reach out to him because he'll be there. I hope to see some of you back at church. I hope that you all are doing some type of thing to be closer to God. I continue to pray for all of you. And if you don't have hope now, turn to God and he'll be there for you. Always. Hope you have a good week. God bless.